Hello and welcome to my channel. In this speech, you we will discuss about a very interesting topic that is neurotransmitters. So everything you should know about neurotransmitters. So the basic topics that we will cover in this speech you are what exactly are the neurotransmitters? The next we'll talk about the mode of the mechanism that is mode of action of neurotransmitters. And lastly, we'll talk about the broadly classification of the neurotransmitters. That is the basic classes of neurotransmitters. So these are the basic topics that we will cover in this video. So let's start. So first of all, we'll talk about what are neurotransmitters. So let me tell you guys that neurotransmitters are endogenous chemicals that enables communication within the nervous system and between the nervous system and the rest of the body. They rely information between individual neurons and ultimately regulate a wide range of bodily functions. And there are various classes of neurotransmitters with different functions and mechanism of actions. Neurotransmitter levels and functions are crucial to maintain homeostasis and if altered can lead to a disease. So this is the basic meaning of neurotransmitter that what are neurotransmitters. Now next we'll talk about the mechanism of action or simply you can say mode of action of neurotransmitters. So let's talk about it. So neurotransmitters can transmit signals across a synapse. As you can see here on the screen we have provided a picture of synapse at various locations such as from one neuron to another target neuron, secondly at the neurotransmitter junction that is NMJ junction, thirdly from a neuron to a target gland. Now what is a synapse? So synapse is a junction through which a neuron relies information to another neuron and it has three main components. So what are those three components of synapse? So they are first one is the axon terminal or simply you can say P, the synaptic cleft, and the third one is the dendrite, or post-synaptic site receiving the information. So there is generally a low level, baseline level of neurotransmitters release that occurs without any need of stimulation. However, the amount released is increased in response to threshold action potential and winding of the neurotransmitter to the postsynaptic neurons that result in either excitation or inhibition. So depending on which is released and the receptor it binds to. It works, this is the mechanism of action. Now next we'll talk about the broad classification of neurotransmitters. So as you can see here on the screen, we have provided a picture of the broadly classification of neurotransmitters. So now one by one we'll talk about them. So let's talk about it. So classes of neurotransmitters. So there are hundreds of the neurotransmitters, but they can be grouped into classes depending on their structures and function. So firstly, focusing on the structures, neurotransmitters can be classified as, as you can see here on the screen, monoaminases, amino acids, peptides, and other. So first of all, we'll talk about the monoaminases. So monoaminases, for example, dopamine, non-adrenaline, adrenaline, and histamine, serotonin. These are monoaminases, neurotransmitters. Secondly, amino acids, for example, glutamate, GABA, that is the gamma amino butyric acid, glycine, aspartate, and D-serine. These are amino acid neurotransmitters. Now third is peptides. Peptides such as opioids, endorphins, somatostatins, oxytocin, and vasopressins. Another neurotransmitters are acetylcholine, adenosine, and nitric oxide. Nitric oxide. So this is a classification based on the structures of the neurotransmitters. Specific neurotransmitter examples. So first one is glutamate. So let's talk about glutamate. So as you can see here on the screen, this is a structure of glutamate, which is a specific neurotransmitter. So glutamate is typically synthesized within the neurons from glutamine and is most abundant neurotransmitter in the brain. It is an excitatory 
and Y. Now, what are the four receptors of the glutamate? That is NMDA, AMPA, and kinate receptors and FIC. So, first receptor is NMDA. So, it is an ionotrophic receptor which is permeable to sodium, potassium, and calcium ions. Second receptor of glutamate is AMPA receptors. This is an iron tropic receptor which is permeable to sodium and potassium ions. Third receptor of glutamate is kinase receptors which is an ion trophic receptor which is permeable to sodium and potassium ions and these are similar to AMPA receptors but much less common. And last receptor of glutamate is metabotrophic G protein coupled receptors. So this was all about uh, first specific neurotransmitter that is glutamate. Now let's talk about the second that is acetylcholine. So acetylcholine is used both in the central and the peripheral nervous system that is CNS and PNS in particular at the neuromuscular junction that is NNJ and it is synthesized in neurons from choline and acetylcholine enzyme acetylcholine enzyme A. ACH is an excitatory neurotransmitter and binds to the two different receptor types. That is nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and muscarinic acetine receptor. Now let's talk about the third specific neurotransmitter that is GABA. So GABA is a synthesized from glutamate and it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter within the central nervous system and it binds to two different receptors that is GABA A receptor and GABA B receptor. Now let's talk about the fourth specific neurotransmitter that is glycine. This is a last neurotransmitter. So glycine is an amino acid which is used as a majority of inhibitory synapses in the spinal cord and the brainstem. It binds to ionotrophic receptors which are permeable to chloride and bicarbonate ions. All for today. In this video, we have discussed about the neurotransmitters, their mode of action and their broadly classification. That's all for today. See you guys in our next video. Till then, stay connected with us for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. And yes, press the bell icon for more updates. Stay safe and stay healthy. And yes, thanks for watching this video.